Okay, now let's talk about how we can now use that information that we have with the pressure transducers and how we can use it to diagnose a particular problem. Now we're going to concentrate on one of the most common calls that we get here on the harsh reverse on a 5R55W. So now we're going to grab that information that we grab in the pressure transducers and we're going to utilize that information along with some hydraulics so that we can understand what's going on and how we can troubleshoot the problem in the reverse engagement. So let's uh, go down and see, uh, let's upload this information and bring the pressure transducer pressure and then let's compare it with the hydraulics. So let's, let's go to that portion of the video. Okay, so now what we've done here is we've uh, uploaded the test that we did on the pressure transducers on the 2006 uh, Explorer with the 5R55W. And so now let's look at how the reverse is being engaged. We're going to do concentrators. We're going to bring on, on transducer, uh, I mean a cursor number one, I'm sorry. If you recall that the, the yellow, which is channel one, is hooked up to main line pressure, whereas your uh, P, uh, the channel two is your PCC pressure. This is going from neutral to reverse. Now right here, and we're in cursor one, we're basically in neutral at the moment. As we go engage it into reverse, what happens is uh, your PCC starts, pressure starts to going up. You have to see three stages in this reverse engagement known as the servo stage, torque stage, and the inertia stage. Here you see is the servo stage. Now basically what a servo stage does, if you notice here, you're going from about uh, 4 PSI's all the way down to about 49, 50 PSI's and it drops back down to around 30 PSI's. The servo stage basically it does is just it pre-fills the circuit so that it, the circuit is already full of oil for the next stage which is now your torque stage and your torque stage if you notice is starting I'm gonna use the uh, if you notice here on the pressure your uh, your PCC pressure started to going up slowly 33 pounds of pressure 34 and this is known as the torque stage we'll leave it right around here let's look at the hydraulic portion of this. Now here at Valve Body Pro what we did is we made our own hydraulics because if you look at the hydraulics provided by the manufacturers they only give you the static application area when it's applied or when it's not applied. What we've done here is we divided it in two stages the initial engagement and then the engagement. So let's look at the uh, first servo and the uh, torque stage of the reverse engagement. When uh, the vehicle is placed into reverse, the uh, transmission range sensor sends a signal to your PCM that reverse was selected. What the PCM then does is that it modulate or it provides about a half an amp for the PCB um, solenoid which it produces uh, the uh, VFS2 pressure, which is this blue one right here, and that acts on top of the reverse engagement control valve. Basically what it does, it keeps the reverse engagement control valve down. That won't allow the mainline pressure that comes from the valve, uh, from the main valve, to go and enter into the direct clutch, because it's being blocked there. Your PCC it starts to enter the two stages that we talked about, your servo and your torque. Well, when your uh, PCM starts modulating or lowering the, the amps on the PCC solenoid, it starts producing this pressure. This pressure now comes through here at the top of the reverse modulator valve. Now, at the bottom of this reverse modulator valve is mainline pressure. This is starts to push down here slowly, it produces the modulation pressure, the orange one right here. This modulation pressure is the one that goes and applies initially your direct clutch. So going back to the pressure transducer, this is the stage right here of the initial engagement. Your, your servo stage right there on the cursor number one being applied 
and then gradually it starts to increase in the pressure to the PCC pressure right here. Let's go back to the hydraulics. <clears throat> this um, PCC pressure, if you recall, if you see, it also applies, is being applied at the bottom of the reverse engagement control valve. So as this amps is being lowered here, your, your PCC pressure is being increasing gradually as you saw it in the uh, pressure transducer. That pressure is acting at the bottom of the reverse engagement control valve. And eventually what happens is that reverse, uh, this PCC pressure at the bottom of the reverse control valve overcomes the PCC pressure, the blue one here. And what happens is that it ends up going to what is now, we call it the uh, in, uh, inertia stage. This moves the reverse engagement control valve up. Now your, your mainline pressure that was right here, now is act going directly undisturbed to apply your direct clutches. That is this stage right here we're about to enter right now. And you see it right around there. And if you see the mainline pressure yellow, Channel one, it start. You can even see a drop as it fully opens up and it starts applying fully the direct uh, clutches. So when you see the now you're you're in fully reverse. Remember, you have to see this three stages. Now, after you see a number of uh, reverse engagements, you may not always they may not always look the same as you can see here's another reverse engagement it does not look exactly like the other one but you have to have the three stages you have to have your servo stage and you have to have your torque stage and then you have to have your uh, inertia stage most of the application will take about two seconds to apply now if you see this this uh, pressure just going from zero immediately rise up that's how you get a harsh engagement because the uh, the bushings are being are holding or being restricting the solenoid for traveling, so when when you see this um, uh, PCC pressure just going directly straight up, or if you don't see these two stages, that's when you know you have a, a reverse problem. So the reverse engagement this is not very complicated as you can see. It's just it takes about three stages. Make sure you have the three stages: servo, torque and inertia and you have a nice smooth engagement. Okay so now we saw the hydraulics and the uh, pressure that we took uh, the reverse engagement here. So what is going on on the solenoid pack? Well let's just concentrate on the PCC or the reverse engagement. It's, it's also happening the same thing with the PCA and the PCB which causes har uh, high line pressure or, or harsh forward engagement or flares. But here's what's going on. This is the plunger from the solenoid of the PCC. And here is a bushing that is originally on there. And some of them we see in brand new failed. What's happening is you can see this thing is so hard going in there. And that's what is won't give you the three stages. It may be just sticking, sticking, and all of a sudden it just moves forward and then that's why it gives you a harsh engagement. These bushings, the way they're designed, there's a flaw to them. Now what we did here at Valve Body Pro with Max Flux, we corrected a number of issues and what you can see, this thing should fall all by itself. Should be very smooth, the application. This is what, what's uh, giving the three stages, your servo, your torque, and inertia, so the basic your problems are your bushings. So if you correct this bushing problem, most of the times, 80% of the problems could be corrected with these bushings. Because what you're doing is eliminating one of the issues of the solenoid not moving smoothly. And we have found that with this problem, by replacing this bushing, you can correct about 80% of the problems with harsh engagements into reverse, forward, or high line pressure. We hope this information can help you troubleshoot the problems that you they come into your shop with the 5R55W S and also the N into your shop.